Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We have five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are the way you are because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. And yes, my glasses are broke, folks. I'll be having some new glasses. What a look, right? <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up at buck 33, uh, no, up 47. NASDAQ up 131. S&P's up 27. Gold contract trading up 1350 at 1731. You got silver up a penny, $18.68. Light sweet crude down $3.62, trading at $96.26. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up a full point plus one tick at $118.26. The 30 year up a full point plus 23 ticks at $140.07. And King Dollar. King Dollar's down 163 ticks, trading at $106.914. The euro is 101. The yen is at 137. The British pound is at 119 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have, folks? Check it out, man. Bottom line, you know, I just did that update. It's breaking the B point right now. Your next leg up, we're at 3993. Your next leg up, folks, is 4234. And let's just see if we're going to get the ABC, man. You, this is a market, man, that is so freaking cool. It's insane. Let's see what we got. 27,019. Okay, you got a minute. We got a minute to get 8,000 uh, contracts. You get 8,000 contracts intraday. You get an ABC structure on the way up. Pretty wild, man. And so that's on the, on the intraday. We take a look at this on the daily. And what you're going to have is that the bottom line is that you, you launch the, the swing points you know, your first downdraft out here, when that, those three days of the downdraft going back to the uh, 9th of June, uh, the bottom of that is 4016. So we'll see what kind of flack you get at that particular point. We go into the NQs. We take a look at the NQs. NQs are leading this market, man. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the NQs out here, and we have with the NQs, pull this back, and this baby, okay, so that's... 99. Oh, look at, no, the, so the end keys, they, they, they were shot for an ABC structure on the way up, okay? What we had is this. You had 99,000 contracts at the first high, 9,900 rather, 9,900, and we just did 7,800. So we'll see whether we get more in the next bar. Uh, but the bottom line is that uh, that bar there didn't have enough. Let me just go back. So it, it, what I've seen enough, enough for a confirmed ABC structure on the way up intraday, because these intraday ones are something else man so let me just look at this bar again you got 22 versus 27 no we were light there too that being said guess what market wants higher price gold let's go take a look at the gold contract out here what do you have inside the gold contract what we have inside the gold contract is this you came down so you had the ECB come out this morning, folks. They went a half a point instead of a quarter. That was a surprise for the marketplace. Guess what? What it didn't do, which is unbelievable, um, is, you know, it didn't do anything for the pound. Okay? I can imagine if they only did a quarter percent, the pound would have went to like 50 cents. Only kidding, but it would have really smoked. Anyway, gold market, what the gold market did is this. Gold market went down to 16.78. Now, the intriguing thing about the gold market going down to 16.78, that wasn't even when the dollar was up. Um, I mean, down. The, the bottom line is that, you know, a rejected lower price there. We have the price spread going on right now. There's no doubt about that. You're talking about 32, 40, well, 22, 32, but yeah, about 37 point spread out here today. Uh, now, what you do need is you need follow through. That's what it comes down to. We've had on a continual basis, there's been no sellers. The bottom line, we haven't had follow through. Um, there hasn't been a sign of strength, all of the above. Uh, what is intriguing out here today, of course, is that what you do have is that interest rates are going down versus going up. We are at 2.9 right now on the 10 year. And if we go take a look at this 10 year, what you're looking at, you know, we were going sideways on the 10 year. Bottom line is that what you have out here today is that, you know, it's. 
155,000. You don't have a lot of volume, man, but the 10 years saying that we are going to make it run back up to 120. Right now, you're at the 118.27. We go take a look at the 30 year US. Where are you, man? US. Okay, here we go. The 30 year, you get 303,000 contracts. Now, that's decent contract volume on the 30 year. Um, you know, because the 30 year normally comes in about 2, 250. Yeah, you get action here, man. This will be a mind blow if it's going to be an ABC up. It's not going to take much. I suspect tomorrow what's going to happen, we're going to go after the swing point. The swing point that we're talking about is 142.06. And if that's, if we get a ABC structure up, folks, inside of the 30 year, what that's going to be saying is that your probability is going to get higher and we'll see the Fed fund futures rate uh, starting to trade off of that. That when you take a look at the Fed calendar, you know, the next meeting is on the 27th of July, which is, uh, of course, next week. Um, and I suspect a half a point is built in. But if you take out the high in the 30 year, it would probably take it out in the 10 too. That's telling me that the in September, the next one uh, out here is September 21st. It would be saying that we would back off a bit. Um, on the interest rate structures, which, <laughs> hey, we'll see where this goes. But that's, that's what this market uh, is saying at this particular point, because inside the bond market, they are buying this thing hands over fist right now. That's, that's how it's shaking out. And um, when we go back and we take a look at the SPY, um, you go, you got to remember something that, you know, the swing point in the SPY is 417. Well, we're at 397. Calendar-wise, it's setting up correctly. The reason being it's setting up correctly is that next week's the last trading week of the week of the of the month, and guess what? You go into window dressing. So it has a shot to really get some action going here, man. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials up 50, Nasdaq's up 125, S&Ps are up 25. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, de-risk partner, ready development stage gold project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up at 35. We get the NASDAQ up about 117. S&Ps are up 23. And we just, it, it, it wasn't really a question. He was joking around a bit, I think, about like how many ABCs can you have before it craps out? The largest ABC structure I've seen in the marketplace, and we rode most of this, folks, was AMAT in 1998 to 2000. It just kept doing ABC structures, one after the other after the other. It was crazy. Um, bottom line is that uh, when you are in an ABC market, um, it's pretty cool. Now, that's the bull side of it. The bear side goes like this, that when you are doing ABCs, I've seen when an ABC finishes, I've seen plenty of them fall apart, too. Okay, But to answer the question... That was the longest I've ever seen. I mean, it was unbelievable. It was like for a year and a half. It was, uh, I forget the exact date when it started, but it was, it, well, you know what it probably was? No, I, I, I got it actually, because what happened in 98 is that that was the Asian contagion. And as soon as the Asian contagion was over, what, so that would have been uh, October of 98. It never stopped from October of 98 going right up to the millennium in 2000. Because I, the reason I remember that is that I remember the amount of calls that were coming in and I, I got this, so this is crazy. And you probably heard this story before because I, I told it a few times. We were having a New Year's party, and what happened is that almost every person was coming up to me saying, I'm never going to sell on this, and I'm looking around and I'm saying to myself, okay, man, I got a feeling that this is like really a huge problem. And by about 1.30, 2 o'clock in the morning, it, it was just so extraordinary that people start saying to me, no, I'm not going to pay the tax. And, I'm not, and I says, you know what, this market's done, man. And what ended up happening, you know, uh, January 3rd to January 6th, that was the high, I believe, in the either NASDAQ or the S&P. And March 10th was the high in the NASDAQ. Okay, and that was the end of, like, an amazing run. And, you know, so anyway, uh, ABC structures can continue to go on an amazing basis. The thing that does happen is that the, well, yeah, no, thanks, EKS. I'm going to go over to these right now because when I was talking about this this morning, the home builders, and this is going to be deviant, man, the home builders are doing ABC structures up. Look at this. Lenar, Lenar's blowing, oh, no, 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 it didn't have it. Okay, hold it, man. Oh, see, now this is, dang, okay, let me bring up DHI, too. Well, yeah, I'll finish with Lenar. This morning, when we were looking at this, it should have had the volume. It had, this had 1.4 million when I was on at uh, 10 to 11, when I was doing Larry's show this morning. And now it's not going to have the volume. It has the price, okay? So that's saying Lenar can run to like 83, and you're at 81. Now let's go to DHI, DH Horton, DHI. Because it'd be really strange if it, it, this definitely should have had the volume. Let me see this. Okay, so... Yeah, DHI is going to be an ABC up. It needs a volume of 4.4 4. 4 million, then 5 million. It's a decent one, too. Your B point is 75 and a half. Your A point is, yeah, it's $10 A to B, which gets you uh, $80. And right now you're at 75. Um, let me pull a few more of these up and see where this shakes out. So, 
Pennsylvania. Well, let's pull the strongest one up. Okay, so if I take this, uh, see, that's interesting too. Well, D.A. Charton is this year has been the strongest one. No, let's change. 28% MDC, Hovania. Oh, look at this. This is interesting. BZH. Now, BZH. That's Biza. Let's see what they're doing, man. If this is ever doing an ABC up, it'll blow my mind. Because this is just... No, it's not. Right. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. Let's go to Home Depot and see what Home Depot is doing and see if there's going to be any traction in that area. Nope, that's falling out of bed. It's up by dollar thirteen, but you can see Home Depot. There's Home Depot's coming into uh, two point nine million. You got one point seven. The swing point there is three oh eight forty six. Three oh eight forty six. Yeah, three oh eight forty six. And right now you're at three oh three forty five. You know, so um, you're gonna we're gonna have some divergence out there. The DHI though, uh, no doubt, was uh, really intriguing. They, you know, the, the the numbers weren't bad, weren't great. Uh, but the bottom line is that the, the market liked it. That's what it comes down to. It, it liked it and liked it in spades. Let's go take a look and see uh, some of the higher volume equities out here and see what we have. So you got Ma Bell's down a buck sixty four. They're having a problem collecting phone bills, which is pretty intense, man, because um, phone bills aren't that expensive. Uh, you got American Airlines down a buck twenty seven. You got Apple up uh, one ninety three. We have uh, Nvidia. Oh, look at that. NVIDIA gave it up. Let's go to NVIDIA. NVDA. So, NVIDIA. Oh, no. I see. I see. Okay, that was yesterday. Right. Okay. So, NVIDIA is still. The high of today was 181. Uh, NVIDIA took over, blew away its swing point, has volume on the blow away. NVIDIA is going to. Be making its way up to this 196 area. Some of the other higher volume. Uh, well, here let's go to Tesla because Tesla, bottom line, is blowing away swing points. Has the has the price movement, has the volume, has it all. Yeah, there you go. So this is how you want to blow a swing point away, too, but to, and blow a consolidation away. You can see the top of the consolidation here, 793. You're at 816. You get volume of 42 million. Um, you also have, let's just see what the 0.382 on the bounce would be. A 0.382 would be 821. You know, so you can see 821 in a second. That's a 0.382. A 5.0 is uh, 8.92, and then we take a look at uh, it's not. Hey, the shot position is not bad. The shot position right now is only 3.16. Now, granted, that's 27 million shares, but it's not like a 10% shot position inside there. Now, I suspect you know there'll be some buy-in because you got an acceleration like that. Uh, bottom line, which I, I expect that you're going to see some buy-in in there, but. Um, that, that equity wants higher price. That's the real bottom line. So let's go inside the NDX again and see what's moving this baby. Because see, if we hold up like this, yeah, Tesla's up 10%. You get NetEase up 5.5%. ASML is up 47 and Pindor Du is up 4 Taken away from it, T-Mobile's down 36 You get Marriott off 1.5. Uh, Walgreens Boots is off 1.4. And you got uh, Dollar Tree. Oh, no, yeah, Dollar Tree down 1.7%. Uh, and there's no doubt as we, uh, here, let me show you something here. This is pretty cool, too. Uh, we're going to go over to the DAX in Germany because you, well, you can see what happened. you got to always remember something. You know, Europe is basically four and a half hours ahead of us. And what happened, you know, this morning as you were doing it, the DAX had been down. The DAX had a low of 13,097. And it just kept clawing back, clawing back, clawing back. That says quite a bit. You want to, you, you should pay attention to that intraday because it gives you a lot of great hints as to where we're going. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.